Module 2, Unit 3 Effective Meeting Management Skills This unit will help you to Be familiar with some of the cluster coordination meeting challenges Be informed about some advice and tips to improve meeting management and facilitation As per the checklist, Daniel is now to prepare his first coordination meeting. To do so, he will seek Yoko's experience. Yoko, as you know, the meeting will be held next Tuesday, and I would need your advice on how to manage it. Of course, Daniel. I'm glad to share my experience in coordination meetings with you. I believe that if meetings are badly run, actors, partners often will set up parallel or competing meeting structures to meet their own needs. Knowing how to manage and facilitate effective meetings is therefore a core skill for a coordinator. I found a useful presentation that presents tips for effective meetings. I often refer to it. Let me play it for you. This is a step-by-step -step presentation on things that can be done to ensure the effectiveness of the meeting. Before the meeting, you should prepare the agenda based on the previous meeting. If it's the first meeting, the agenda points should be mainly on introducing each other and getting to know each other and to set the objective for the functionality of the cluster. Set a clear objective and meeting points. According to these objectives, you'll have to ensure that you have the right people attending the meeting. Look for a convenient venue that is safe, comfortable and suitable for all. Indicate clear start and a clear finishing time on the agenda. Circulate the minutes of the previous meeting to make sure that all the group is aware of previous discussions. Appoint a timekeeper and a note taker who will help you during the meeting. Should there be sensitive issues to be discussed and should you expect not to have full support Seek the support on the issue before the meeting by having a face-to-face -face meeting with potential supporters. You can use the same approach if you know that a participant will strongly disagree. One of your main objectives during the meeting is to build and or consolidate trust with the WASH platform partners. Some recommendations to start a meeting are to make sure that the attendance is relaxed and reassured. Make sure that you set the tone. Make sure everyone introduces him or herself. Set ground rules. Encourage involvement. Balance contributions. Focus attention on purpose. As a coordinator and leader of the meeting, you will be expected to control the time and to make sure that the meeting is run on time. You have several means and tools to make sure that you get all the participants involved in the discussion. Some examples are to propose working groups for specific tasks. Use a means to get a response from people like post-it notes to be posted on a chart. Use voting when necessary. Allocate roles. Ask questions to all participants or specific persons. You can ask questions to ensure involvement of all participants. However, you need to be careful. Questions drive communication and, therefore, it's important to be clear what your outcome is in asking the question. You can use open questions, such as questions starting by what who, where, when, how or why. You'll have to avoid close and leading questions such as the following. Leading questions, implying the answer. You don't think, do you? Multiple questions, asking two or more questions simultaneously. Fixed choice questions, giving one of two alternatives. Will you take delivery on Tuesday or Friday? 
do not forget before closing the meeting to recapitulate and agree in the action points to be taken by different partners and deadlines you need to ensure that every participant is clear on the agreed actions. Set the date for sending the minutes. Set the date for the next coordination meeting. One of the reasons of failure in coordination is the lack of follow-up of agreed actions and points. After the meeting you need to make sure that the minutes of the meeting are completed and sent to all the partners. Agreed action points have a proper follow-up. Partners are informed on progress since the last meeting. Action points are discussed in the next meeting. However, it is also important to know that meetings are only a way to complement other coordination mechanisms. There are different alternatives that can be used to ensure participation and involvement of partners such as working groups for specific issues, written memos and reports, documents to be circulated amongst partners for comments, email, messages, fax, phone calls, instant messaging, teleconferencing, one-to-one -one exchange, online options, for example Google Groups and websites, video. As you'll be the facilitator of the meeting, you should know that your role is to aid discussion, open up and encourage discussion, ask questions, capture ideas, be neutral, make links between ideas. Therefore, you should practice your skills at being a good listener, at asking relevant questions, thinking quicker, being tolerant and not being egocentric. Be honest and open. We're no supermen. Sometimes we simply don't have the answer. We can acknowledge it. It is certainly better than replying vaguely to the issue. Thank you very much, Yoko. I have to go and prepare the first meeting of the WASH coordination platform. I wish you good luck, Daniel.